Hey everybody, it's PC here. Welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. As you can see, I got some water going to our research space here. Just checking to see how things are. Apparently, it says it's only increasing by 10%, but as you see, it says capacity use capacity use 2. I have 6 bays here, so that should be 12. It's only using 6. So, maybe a bug. I thought maybe... I thought maybe I had to do it with the amount of connections to it, but I put another connection on this one here, but it wasn't actually processing anything. Let's try this on this side here. Put it on the other one, uh, but it wasn't, didn't have anything to actually process. All right, and still using six. So I'm not complaining. This means uh, water gets used a little bit more. Let's actually, let's go over here and check uh, this side out. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on things. I'm actually leaving things running right now because we need to do a few upgrades. Uh, we're not quite getting enough coal out of that line there, and we're out of train cars. Uh, so, yeah, this one here, as you see, it says capacity use 3, and I got 5 on this one tank. It says we're using 15, but the research bays are only using 1 for some reason. So, as you can see, that's a bit of an issue here. We're going to need to get a few more cars on this one. Uh, but this isn't the line I'm really worried about. It's the other one. But let's go ahead and do this. Uh, how many should I add? Should I add two or four? Let's go with two for now. No point in adding more cars than you actually need to because then it just means time wasted not actually doing anything. Alright, so yeah. So anyways, we have... Um, starting to get a bit of a pile up of this, the coal at this end here so I want to actually try to get some more cars on there as you can see I've cleaned some research already just wait for these to fill up and then what I'm going to do I've been trying to decide on whether I want to go straight up to four cars which would be 150 and then 150 or if I should do two cars and then a speed if I do the four cars that gives me 25% more speed space if I do two then it gives me like just over 10 but 10 percent more speed so I think I might want to go with the, the actual extra cars this time and that's one reason why I'm letting it run right now we're not moving any steel at all uh, I'm just basically waiting on that uh, but we'll, we'll actually just pause that for now because what I want to do is I want to start working on this a little more now I have tested about having uh, one one level one rail running underneath the level two rail and it does work as you can see that's these two doors right here for I actually tested it. I had one coming in through here and then one coming in through the top door and it does work so that is a good thing so now what we're going to do is we're going to organize this a little bit more uh, this tank is going to go so are those and everything up to here is going to go and this is for a very good reason. I'm going to start taking advantage of these connectors. I have a lot of money and I might as well use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to here. We're going to do an intake on that side. On that side. Uh, hmm. One there and one there. And then what side was this? Oh. Oh, okay, and this is the coal, or the yellow side. So in, in, in. Sure, I got that wrong, but whatever. Uh, that works. I'm sorry, I'm having one of those moments. How does that actually work? Oh, okay. There's an extra gap there. I was getting a little confused of how this is actually working. So all I do is do that. Then a couple of unload stations. That's why I've got them as close as I can. I'm trying to save myself as much room as I can. And that should be that. we got to switch these around. Well, that's not what I wanted to sell. Uh, you get the idea. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tank over here. Let's get this thing back and so unload 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 that's going over there we got to get one more uh, onto that side so that's gonna have to pump everything right into the tank get rid of the empty containers for us just in case we have any problems these are going to be destroy all crates 
because every once in a while you get that full crate going through and we don't want that and then all I have to do is place a large tank down we can put this honestly we can put it right there and all we have to do is just color that so that is our our copper tank our coal tank right, and then same with this side so i'm going to get this all set up on this end and i'll bring you back okay there we go now look at all this extra space we have and there's going to be more too now the steel tank is going to be over here um i'm trying to think about what i want to do with the, this i'd like to Hang on to it, but at the same time, too, there's plenty more where that came from. I expect to take a bit of a loss this month, but that is fine. That basically just has to go out. You know what? We actually have room. Let's do that. Let's take advantage of this. Let's get our minecart track. Go over here. Actually, let's give them a little bit more room. Like so, and then we'll get one of these and we'll grab one of these and there we go now we can actually get all that steel going over here which the train already took so I'm gonna let this run and we'll let this tank empty out and I shall return I made a bit of a boo-boo on that one I was pulling out of this tank when I should have been pulling out of just straight out of this so that's what I've done here is that could be enough room it is okay and then my crate makers are gonna do their thing that's fine um oh yeah we got research ready uh we do have to start researching some other stuff pretty soon too we got to start researching gold fuel so we can get into the the oil production uh which is going to be down the road and then we still have farm to do which we still need oil and of course uh grain meal now, the gold fuel, I've been thinking about actually setting up over here because we have gold here. And that's actually oil. I thought we had some coal over here. Uh, well, we've got a whole bunch of coal over here, but we've got all this gold here. We can basically get a, another setup going right here. We're actually close to our research facilities. Speaking of research, take that and that. And these two. Okay. Oh, we almost, almost have enough for another upgrade. I should have left that. All right, so I am going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to get the mine carts. Just because, oh, it gets progressively more expensive. It didn't here. The intervals didn't, but oh, wow, that's interesting. All right, that's fine. So now we can go over here and add two more onto the, four more onto this track. So now we have a 20 car train rolling. So hopefully that'll pick up everything here this time. And then maybe even start picking up some from here because this is starting to back up a little bit. Uh, might have to double train it, but again, we might have to, I think at this point, a speed upgrade would actually be worth it. I don't need much uh, research for that. I uh, did. Okay, that is researching so that we can clean that. And since we got the water pump going, we'll be going pretty good. All right, so that tank is empty. Okay, let's pause that. So, uh, where's that train? Oh, it's unloading right now. But as you can see, we're actually starting to get a backup, and that's because nothing's running. But absolutely no connections to these tanks whatsoever. And that's what I didn't realize at first. That's why I was trying to put connectors on there and the whole fun stuff. So, can go ahead and start moving some things around now I am probably still gonna keep the three truck lines but if we're gonna have four train lines here we really don't need this truck uh, not to mention too the trains been holding up the truck so uh, I had move everything out of the way this train has got to go up one more to the max level to actually make it over as you can see here so let me do that let me do that and I'll be right back Okay, now the road's out of the way, so that's good. So now we can go ahead and get this miner out of the way. Uh, which way is that train going? That's going that way. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll let him get to where he wants. Was that really connecting a grid? 
No. Uh, where's the power plant? Why would it make that sound? Oh, wait, hold on. No, it does have power. Probably because it broke the circuit. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave those there because that's where those are going to go because this train just happens to line up with this one here. Alright, so this has got to go. Let's go on a selling spree, shall we? So we'll do that. By the way, I did get this over like that, if I didn't mention already. And, well, this has, has to go anyways. Let's just clear everything out. Good thing we got lots of money. It'd be nice if you actually got the money for the resources when you sell the, the silos like that. Okay, and then, uh, so on and so forth. So let me clear this up and I'll be back. And there we go. Okay, so now it's a matter of getting all the train connections back in. So I, to make sure this lines up, I'm just going to go like there for now. And then track entry. So I'm going to place this one here. Uh, the next one's going to go there. And then the next one is going to go here. And the next one's going to go there. Can this one really not go back further? Okay, and let's try some space. It will not. That's fine. Because the silos are going to be further back anyways. But, yeah, so let me do this. And lay the rails for our future production. Future exports, I should say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I can't get it. There it is. Yeah, I knew that was coming. That's fine, because we'll connect that back up. That's why the game is actually paused. Okay. Exit, exit, and exit. Okay, now, I don't know how well this is going to do us, but it's going to do pretty good. Now, I have to keep in mind, too, that I get these trains connected. Uh, I will be having the silos next to each other. Now, how will I do this? Because I'm going to have four cars, four tracks coming out of here. They're going to be coming out, one's going to be coming down here, this side, another one down this side, another one down this side, another one down this side. Oh, yeah. I was looking, I was like, wait a minute, that's not going to be enough room for the track. I remember the side was not actually going to be there. So, let's see where we're at lined up here. For here. And the first one will have to go here. And there. And there. And there. And I think... I think six silos should be enough. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the tank set up and the connectors. And I will bring you back when it's time to do the minecarts. Okay, I have it all set up, set up now. Uh, I was just waiting for this cart to go through. The train is actually going inside the warehouse right now, unloading. Might as well use the coal while we can. So there is a setup. So let's get uh, let's get this out of the way. Uh, this is empty, so we can start getting rid of all this stuff here. And uh, I still have a million dollars. Doesn't. S really mean much because you can go through a million awfully quick. I think I had close to three when I started this. Right? Each one of those silos were what? 10,000? 15,000? 10,000. And then the tanks are 10,000. The connectors are a couple of grand and all that stuff. So now we got to get four minecart lines going out to those tanks or those silos. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. And I might as well keep it that way, just because I can. So let's start. Start with the furthest one. I'm actually wondering now. You know what? I'm gonna add another door down here and take the easy way out, and only have to double deck them once. All right, so this one's going to go out to there, and this one's going to go out to there, and I do have to lift them up, so that's why I'm not going out too far yet. Like there, and then this one is going to be... 
Hmm. I think this one should be over here. Uh, just because it's going to have to have more change, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm just rambling. All right, let's uh, see what we can do here. Let's bring that down to a one. Now, it won't actually cross anything, but I can do that. It would actually connect. Okay, we do that. Oh, I didn't think about that. We might have to move some stuff. Oh, well, that's a nice angle. Too bad there wasn't a minecart going by at the time. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, see, now... I didn't think about this. I might actually have to just move some stuff down. So maybe I'll do that because I need this much room after the turn. So this last one here, well, I guess. I guess the one on the top could turn this way. Is that going to be actually enough room? Let's find out, shall we? And we'll go on to this one here. And we'll change our... Oh, that's not what I want. That's not exactly what I want. I want to change the turn type. Let's try that again. Yeah, one out. And that's this one here. This one here would have to go a little more. So uh, let me move them down two spaces and I'll be back. Okay, so I decided to do it without moving the tanks. Yeah, it seems to work. And the reason why I'm doing that is if we do ever increase production, we have room for expansion. So that's why that's there. And at the same time too, I just didn't want to do it. Plus it's more fun trying to snake all these minecart tracks together. But this should work. So now I'm thinking here, I think, I think this one's gonna go down first. So we're going to do that. Now I'm hoping. No. And it's because. Um, uh, da -da. That thing can't go over curves. So I think I need to. Let's do that first. And then we can figure out where we got to go with this. So I think I got to go. Uh, just a couple of tiles over like so. Go back down to one and presto. So we can do that. And then we can uh, go back to here and. I almost want to have them all join together. Actually, would that work? No, it wouldn't. Hmm. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna have these laid out so I can get the connectors in. Cause uh, what they're gonna need is they're gonna need one of these, probably right at the door, if I have it facing the right way. Uh, yeah, one of those there connected to our steel tank, and that just fills up the drain as it goes, and then takes it out to here. So I gotta have that on every line and I know how I can do this yes so this would be pretty simple what I do is I just have them back to back like so I go over here I take this one and have that face on the other track we have that connector there and then I just gotta do the same thing with these two and at the same time too I gotta make sure that these trains have enough room to move so let's see yeah we can do that I'll take that we'll do sure we'll do that one and actually I could have left that there do that and like so yeah that'll work and realistically these should have filled up down here and these ones should have filled up there over here so let me do that and I'll be right back okay I am just finishing up now I got them all connected, so uh, the two farthest lines are being filled up here. The two closest lines are being filled up here, and that's just to uh, try to keep everything equal so one side doesn't fill up before the other. So this one is pretty straightforward to connect to. This one over 
here and then we do one of these and there we go and i'll have some just brought them up down between the machines so they have a little bit of buffer space okay and then over here it's just a matter of going like that really simple uh, the entrances do have power, so we should be getting the trains rolling. I think I actually had a, an upgrade for that, did I not? I did. So that is good. Okay, all it's left to do is get minecarts on here. Um, I'm not going to bother doing the whole skipping thing, because the amount of time it's going to go let's go with eight on each maybe not there yeah if you do it too close to the end of the track it won't actually let you place them i'm just gonna make sure i have enough room inside the factory for them to load up and oh. okay they're there and let's see how our research is doing Nothing, because we've been paused the whole time. Well, I think that should be it. I left the claws for now, because too lazy to try to take all these things out. It would be nice if you could just remove an entire, entire line. Oh, look at that. The mine carts are moving in uh, synchronism. Make sure that the last car gets filled up. And hopefully all the combiners are full. And I do realize in the last episode, I said, uh, I called them tanks, I think, and I meant to say combiners. All right, so there we go. Our trains are filling up. I do know the silos hold 16, so it's basically, oh yeah, yeah, it's going to be two cards worth, or one minecart train holds two silos worth because each one holds four so that's 32 each uh, we are producing an obscene amount of steel so that is good and first train's gonna be rolling now but it's gonna take some time for stuff to start moving so i'm gonna let it run for a little bit let's actually let's actually let this run for a little bit and i will return uh when these are starting to fill up, like look at this, this is already filling up and the first train is just showing up. And that's actually an old entrance. Oh look at that, they're all showing up at the same time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. Because I have six silos. Starts with three, so the first three will be four. Five, six, seven. Something like that. It's a lot of goods. Anyway, uh, I shall return. Alright, so, so far we're doing somewhat okay. For some reason, I have a train leaving empty, and I'm wondering if it's because the silo itself was actually only 12 instead of 16. But you only took one car and took off. But as you can see, the numbers are actually doing really good. We're not even at full production right now. As you can see, the steel is not quite holding up. The coal is not supplying too well. Uh, what we're going to do... Gonna run all the way over here. Go ahead and claim our research. We actually got quite a bit. Wow. Very nice. It's amazing how that stuff builds up. So I think we're gonna get minecart speed upgrade. Get one of those. Could probably do another one. And I think I will. Uh, it's gonna be a while before we really need to unlock anything, and even then you can see how fast it builds up. Uh, the next one is going to be the refinery, which, uh, two million. Hmm. Uh, no more upgrades for a while, I think. Anyway, uh, so, okay, this is starting to go a little bit better. I've moved the carts, uh, trains, I had them up to 12, and then I brought them down to, back down to 8. Because they weren't getting full loads, like that. But as you can see, we have two issues. One, we don't have enough coal, and two, we're not refining enough iron. So we're going to go ahead and pause this. Uh, the coal situation should, should be dealt with by the fact that I've increased the speed of the trains by 20%. So hopefully that'll get more out of here. Uh, the next upgrade is going to end up being more cars if it really comes down to it. 
Uh, so the refining end on this, I think we're okay. Uh, it's the iron I want to get refined a little bit more. And I think... I think I should be able to get another one of these in here. I was looking at, I can get another row. Another one in here, that's not a problem, I can always join these up, let's actually do that, we'll take these out, and yeah, that'll stay there, we'll do conveyor out that way, and conveyor out that way, there's another one there, another one there, we will do two refiners, facing this way, and we get our conveyor transfer cloth, do it that way, we do... Uh, skip every one. I know I can get three on there. I don't have the room to get three. Uh, like, I might be able to squeeze one more on this one. Maybe. Maybe. Because I can only move this one over, but I need room for a conveyor. So maybe let's actually do that. Let's get this out. And move this forward one. One space. As long as I have room to output this stuff. All right. And I can actually get three refiners coming off this crate maker here. Alright, so I'm going to go back to refiner. See, I can get one right in here. Let me think here, would this actually work? I wonder if that would. Let's try that. I have absolutely no idea where you could sneak these things. Oh my god, it actually does work. Huh. Do that, we'll switch every two. Uh, yes, now we'll get rid of those two. Get two more refiners in here. Uh, this conveyor's got to go out. Actually, can I get two more in here? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's no good. Well, there goes that idea. So I can bring, put this back the way it was. And can send you one with these two. Alright, so we'll just do that. We'll do that. And then... Uh, uh, the same thing with this. Nope, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna suck that up. Stick that in the green tank. No. The yellow tank. I almost made a boo boo there. Uh, yellow, yes. And I made another one. Well, it wasn't much of a boo boo because I was paused. Okay, and. Why is that not coming? Oh, yeah. We can get this on here. We can get this on here. Of course we can. We have the technology. Like so, again. Uh, set that to destroy all crates. I think I've got to set these ones. Just takes one, one full crate to make it to the system to cause you a big jam up. Okay, so we go back here and get an input pipe in here. We sneak these things in wherever we can. All right, so that is that. Uh, I guess uh, another, at least one there. And I was thinking about trying to get another one up in here somewhere. And this might actually work. Uh, let's see if I can actually put a refiner under here. Oh, I can. Oh, that's nice. That should not be a problem. Let's see if we can get this in here. No, we can't. Hmm. I think I'm not to move it forward, and I will do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know how many more I got in there, but I got a couple more in there. Uh, so that's gonna get the iron going a little bit more. Hopefully, the coal supply will improve. Uh, do we have any research? Probably not, because we just claimed it. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this run a little bit more. See where we're at. Let's see what our numbers are at. It's actually pretty good for not even half a month. 18,000. Wow. So, yeah, I shall return. Well, again, it looks like we're having 
bit of a coal issue, so what I might do is I can't get to this one because we got the trains here, but I can actually still tap into these two. So I'm gonna do that, get those into the system, and I shall return. Behold, the world's smallest minecart track. <laughs> yeah, tanks just would not fit, so I had to do it this way. Okay, I'm uh, watching things go for a little bit here, and it seems like uh, the coal is definitely hold up like it's just it's either one or the other we're getting steel we're doing pretty good numbers like really good numbers the trains could be doing a little bit better but you know they need to start getting more steel i'm seeing them go without uh one is steel coal delivery another one is coal refining another one is steel re iron refining uh, it'd be nice if you could actually expand onto this but uh unfortunately you can't so I might have to get it processed somewhere else and brought here or something like that. Like we've got all this room we can set up another factory for. So we can do that, but what we can, can do, clear some more research, and I think I'm gonna go with the, I wanna say minecarts, extra minecarts, but I think speed might be the one I wanna go with. Get an extra 10% at 200,000. Or I can another six for two, or another two for six hundred, two hundred thousand. Can't talk right now. It is picking up everything here. It's still not quite picking up everything here. If I add two more cars, that's ten percent. If I add ten more, ten percent more, that's ten percent more. And I want to say I will go for the minecart speed because that'll just help all round. So we will do that. That's on highway speed, and this is all highway track, so that's good. Uh, most of the tracks are, so that works out. But I think this is going to be a good place to call it. Uh, you know, and struggling. It's definitely got something to do with these silos not being completely full. Uh, that's the problem with me having a buffer tank, is it'll only supply the silos that are full. But when these trains are coming back with two or three carts empty like that, well, not that one, but this one especially, then, you know, it kind of holds this production up. But I think in the next one, next episode, we might, might look at expanding this somehow. Don't really have much room to get any more refiners in. It'd be nice if you could throw a second level on this place, but uh, sadly you can't. And you can't have transfer pipes up on the second level above the machines. So that doesn't work. So... Yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to do. We might have to get another factory over here. Maybe start dealing with this. Or, because I was talking about getting gold fuel being produced over here. The only thing is, though, is in order to place another rail line, it's got to be somewhere around these connections. Same with a road. It has to be somewhere around this connection here. Uh, a road, the closest I could put a road would be like right around here. I can move the power plants, that's not an issue. Which might actually work because we got the gold over there, which is coming this way anyways. We got this over here, and it'd be better to send out because it's 13 kilos versus the 10 and 10. But yeah, we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, as far as research goes, I think the next one we're going for is here. I don't think we really need the, the farming just yet. Uh, well, we can't get to the farming until we get the oil, and we need. 2 million research to get to the oil so yeah that's going to be a little while but you know we're going to be researching that gold fuel anyways but anyways i uh, thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and as always i'll see you in the next one oh wait to a mountain there okay later